Good morning, everybody. Colleen here from Get Art Creations. And once again, thanks for popping by. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, a little shout out to all my wonderful subbies. Um, it's uh, a pleasure to have you hang out with me. And um, it's fun to craft with you since we can't visit in real life in general these days. Once again, virtually having a bunch of friends like you is a real pleasure. And um, this has become something I quite enjoy doing. As long as you're willing to stick it out with me, I appreciate each and every one of you. And to all my new subbies, welcome here. Hopefully uh, you'll find it somewhat helpful in your crafting adventures. We all learn together. I'm not, I'm by no means uh, uh, a, a long time crafter, but uh, I do enjoy it and I'm happy to share some of my ideas and other ideas that I learn with you as well. So let's go, this is a little video of a kind of a show and tell of my day yesterday. Um, I had some fun just kind of playing around couple of uh, things I had to do so I didn't get to spend as much time in the craft room and that's okay too. Um, but I thought I would share for starters, some of you have already seen these because I posted them. I couldn't help it. I took my mother-in-law to the doctor yesterday just for an appointment and, and she's good so that's wonderful to hear. But um, some of you also may know I have finally purchased a new sewing machine and it's something that's always intimidated me. But because a lot of people I've gotten to know via crafting, uh, the crafting world, they they too have never had a sewing machine, bought one for paper crafting and they love it. And they have said it's not Einstein stuff. So that said, I thought mom could have a <clears throat> fun week with my new machine. She loves to sew. She uh, doesn't have one anymore. But I just sent her along um, some example papers. Like I took some cardstock, cut them into shapes of tags, I did some faux stitching with a pen. These would be the zigzag line and all that. And I just said, if you want to play with my machine, let me know what you think of it, if it's worth keeping. And I sent her some practice fun paper thingies. And so she had some fun. She um, she said it's definitely worth keeping. It's a singer. It's not the high quality singer, but it's a, it's a perfect machine for what I need, for my crafting needs. So anyways, she sent home the stuff I sent her, um, I, I sent home, a, I sent along a big sheet. She wanted to practice on some fabric, and um, anyhow, in the bag were some of these, a lot of these leftover tags that she didn't bother working on. But one in particular, she said to me before I dropped her off, she says, "In the bag you'll find one of the tag papers you sent me. I did some fun stitching to show you." each stitch and what it looked like. So if you want to look at it, learn from the stitching, it gives you an idea of what your machine can do. So I got home <clears throat> and I looked at the tag and it wasn't, there was nothing on it except just the white cardstock background, the stitching in white. Um, I guess we, I didn't have black thread for her, but, and her handwritten um, illustrations of what each stitch is like she knows me too well she knows that I am such a newbie at machines but just can you I hope this isn't blurry for you <clears throat> but all that was on this again was just her hand stitching her clear uh, medium zigzag large zigzag stitch small st I thought it was the most precious thing I'd ever seen there's no way I was going to chuck it she figured I'd look at it go oh well, that's a cool machine and then chuck it instead <clears throat> excuse me, I inked the edges and I made it into a keepsake. I um, <clears throat> added some vintage fabrics, some old music paper, a couple of old buttons, um, just kind of, I reinforced it with an extra piece of cardstock that happens to have a little bit of, uh, you know, writing space, but I'm not going to use it for that. It's going to be a keeper in my craft room. I just, I found it precious. I just did. I just, I just did so anyhow I kept it I shared it with her she thought that was the most hilarious thing she'd ever seen I don't think she gets it <laughs> but it's a precious item now that said I thought to myself after I altered it I thought why didn't I maybe take a picture of it and and I don't know do something else with it and keep the the prototype for my actual keepsake so I did I did just that I took a picture of this and I thought, can I, I'm going to see if I can save it on the computer. I did one where I cut around the 
the uh, fabric pieces that hang out, hang off the edges, I cut around it and I have one where I cut them off and they end up making cute tags. I thought, oh, I'm gonna do that. So I printed off one more for today's video. I did a smaller version. I, I'll cut this out and um, we'll see what I use it for. It could be kit in half, it could be two page pockets. But from now on, I'm gonna have my mother-in-law's precious keepsake <clears throat> to use in my journaling. It's cardstock, it's sturdy. I added some coffee dyed, some writing spaces, some stamping. So I have it saved now and I'll be able to use them ongoingly as much as I want. And I'm just pretty happy about that. So that's something I thought I'd share with you. And let's see, yesterday evening after crafting, I had some leftover paper. And of course I made it into a little pocket. Uh, and all it is, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching and you're crafters, this here, I collaged a bunch of scraps on the front and I made a couple pockets, as you can see here, and I collaged the back. So basically what I'm gonna use this for is I'm currently working on a project um, from the book Vandal Shop. She, she, she has a beautiful kit, it's Vinca Victoria kit. And these are some extra ephemera pieces that I'm gonna use to hold and store in this little pocket that I, just quickly threw together, covered with leftover printable from the kit pages. I tore up, I distressed, I collaged. But see how you can utilize absolutely everything in one way or another. So that's going to be a little ephemera holder for this particular journal I'm working on. Only these pages here, other than the book pages, all come from the kit. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to show you quickly how to do that as well. And this here, I made four of these. So I have four signatures in my journal I'm working on. And in each journal or in each signature, I'm going to add these little paper clips that I made. Kind of cute, dingly danglies. A little bit tedious. My fingers are far too chubby for this little tedious work, but uh, we, we managed. I figured it out, got her done. And of course in the navies and these little images that I cut out using my heart stamps. My heart stamp is also from the kit, the printable kit I'm using. So I try to really keep it all cohesive. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. Save the page here. So this is the this is the journal I'm working on. Pretty excited to show you all. I'm not done it yet, so but this is just a little glimpse. And this little paper clip, I'm putting right here. It goes in nicely and the little dingle danglies hang. Everything matches. I'm a matchy matchy girl sometimes. See how that looks? Made a homemade tag there too. But so I made four. So in each signature, here's another one. I used, um, this one is a butterfly stamp punch, I mean. Still using the, the um, <clears throat> pieces of leftover from the kit. Turn over here. See, I just don't have tiny little fingers to deal with stuff like this. Oh, anyways, it's all in the blues and stuff, but little heart and some fabric. And in this, that's the one I showed you. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. No, nope, that's the same one. Okay, I did make four, I promise. Here's one. Here's one. There you go. Just then dangle nicely off the page and add a little fabric, some cutouts, some paper, page thingies. And one more here. There you can see the, the butterfly cutouts and little mini eyelets. So I just think they add such a cute little dimension to any journal. And they dangle out. So anyways, this is this journal I will definitely I will definitely show you yet, but I'm it's still in process. And this is another fun thing. If any of you have seen my craft room tour on on one of my videos, you'll notice it's pink and green this entire craft room. I've always loved the old-fashioned telephone. It's not even old-fashioned, it's more retro, but when I was a little girl, that's the phones we had before these cell phones and all that. And I found an image um in the free domain site 
And so I printed it off, I enlarged it, and I cut it out. I'm gonna ink the edges a bit, but it's going on my wall because I don't have enough pink in here. <laughs> I know my kids are gonna be like, what? But anyhow, it's fun. It's, I just absolutely adore it. So that's going on my craft room wall. And so let's, let's do this. So it's basically literally this. I, I cut the, of course, border out, which I'm not gonna do right now. So this is, um, I guess, a botanical themed printable. I can't even tell you from where. It's been in my bin for too long. It's a scrap bin. So you, you fold up as, as deep as you want your pocket. You fold it up. You turn it over, of course, then you fold up a pocket like this right across your page. Now this is actually sticky paper. So if I were to cut a piece of this off and peel it, it becomes um, stickers. But this is uh, just put, this one here was cardstock, a cardstock. So it doesn't matter, really, it doesn't. So and then fold it over. So you've got basically a square. Now, but here's the trick to um, kind of get rid of your bulk in your folds: is you fold it down and right along the middle fold take your scissors and cut just to the right of it for the one side here I'll show you what why I do this I learned this from actually I learned this from Dawn from the book vandal I watched her make a file folder um, file folder project and this is what she had done so what am, I, what am I doing? Let me think here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over because I like to cut to the right of anything I'm cutting. And I'm just going to cut to the right of that fold on the other side. Right up to the middle there, right up to the middle fold. And then you're going to cut this piece right off. And there. So you've just now remove the bulk at the fold and so it will lay better in your journals or whatever you're using it for and if you have a bone folder or i guess finger tool works too so it lays flatter there but again because it's sticky paper it's not as i think flat lying as uh, a piece of cardstock so then to make sure you've Made your pockets, you just simply, I hope I'm in camera here. Okay, just simply glue down one side of the pocket and then on the other side. I know that most of you have done this a million times, but you know what? There's always somebody new. I was new. I know exactly what it's like. And so I covet, I would covet anybody's um, direction on YouTube channels that I would have happened upon and so I appreciate all the help I got and I am happy to pass it along so for the rest of you that know how to do this with your eyes closed good for you um, you might want to check out who knows a Gail Agostinelli video or <laughs> she's got so many great things on the go all the time too okay so fold it over and now we have our pockets just like that what I had done with mine is I it was white inside so I just um, covered it with stuff you can see that this was part of a scrap because I had used my heart punch and I punched out a piece and so it didn't matter I, it's part of the background pocket and it has the little heart punch out and that's okay but so you can put all your stuff in your pockets and a book page I'm gonna probably add something else there yet but then I just started tearing and collaging. There's really, there's really no end to what you can do. This is a piece of paper of a book with lovely, or maybe it's part of the printable actually. Yes, it is lovely. And so I just cut the top part of lovely out and I used it for the top of the back of the uh, pocket folder. And actually with this, I'll show you something else you can do with things like this. So in this journal, which is the theme I'm working on, you could easily, like, you could easily tuck this over like that. 
and it just becomes a pocket, a flip out, and you've got some of your ephemera you're keeping that you want to use yet, and it's always right there in your journal. So depends on the size that you make. You could also um, keep it and use it as an add-on, a little extra piece of the journal project. So anyhow, that's it. I won't ink it. I won't decorate it. Just gives you an idea of what you can do. You can add a pocket in the front, pocket in the back. You can do whatever you want. There are new rules. And one more thing I'm going to show you quickly. I uh, This is just going to be a really quick demonstration. I saw Pam today make one from the paper outpost. It's just going to be a quick little um, shaker made out of your junk mail. So this is used. It's in my envelope bin. I'm going to get my ruler. I don't want this video to be too long, guys, so I'm just going to show you quickly. So depending on the size that you want, sometimes the envelopes go this way. This one is obviously going to be an upright. So I'm going to just ruler tear, maybe just a little bit right to the window. Make sure it's a little bit straight. Okay, so there we have that. And I'm going to quickly glue the side that I don't want open. You know what? I'm going to do what she didn't do. And she says, do it first, which is true. I'm going to cover the inside with a piece of paper. Now I'm looking in my scrap bin here. Uh, I want some sort of a pretty image that you'll see peeking through the um, window of the envelope. Okay, Ben Murray, let's see what we got here. Sorry guys, I wasn't really thinking of showing you this particular little fun thing, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. Is this gonna fit? No, that's not quite no, that's not quite big enough. Okay, what, what do we got here? What's this? You know what? That's kind of cute, but that won't probably, I won't be able to fit the image in there. Okay, I think we're going to, I'm looking for a piece of cardstock, not, not a copy paper, just for some extra strength. Oh, I think I found something. You know what, that, hmm. I'm sorry you guys, hang tight there. scraps you think I'd find something oh here we go here we go this should do it okay I'm going to paper tear here a ruler tear sorry for the noise just trying to get get it so that it fits okay I'm not a huge measurer. <clears throat> I don't like to take the time, which, well, I do sometimes, but not today. It's probably still a bit wide. We'll see. Tear, tear down some of this. And let's see, maybe about here. Oh, still some more to go here. Is that going to do it? Almost. There we go. Get rid of the scraps. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Is it going to fit? And we got a winner. Okay. Now this could be, there is a white line there, and that's okay. No big deal to me. So I am going to just give that little extra corner here a cut. And let's get her glued down. This is my Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And I'll tell you something, I love it. It's a nice thin bead. It lasts forever. I've been using this glue for a little bit now and I've still got quite a bit in that bottle. And it comes with a, it comes with a uh, refillable bottle too. So it's quick drying, I like that. Oops, 
get it all oh, that crooked here. A little bit finicky, but that's okay. There. Okay, so we got that image inside. So now I'm going to glue this side shut. Okay, so so far that's been simple, quick and simple. Um, I'm going to then take this is just a little container of shaky. Uh, because it's going to be a shaker, I'm just going to dump a, a little bit in here. I don't need that much. And I'll show you why. Whoop, whoop, whoop. More than I wanted. But that's okay. It, it'll just be an extra pretty shaker. And I have tons of these. Actually, I'm going to dump some out because it's a little bit too bulky. There are um, some people that do really, really like gorgeous shakers that would take a lot more time than this. But that's kind of the way I roll, quick and simple. Okay. How much is in there yet? I'll do a bit more. So I guess learn from me today. You definitely don't want to put too much because you don't want it to be bulky. Okay. So now I'm going to close the top. Because what you don't want are your little shaky, poofy things to fall out. See? There's your shaker. That's definitely a lot. You don't need that much. But, um... And so now we're going to quickly cover the front and the back. Um, again, I don't have a huge plan, except maybe I'm going to take some, here's my scrap bin. And this is some coffee dyed. So I'm going to take my Scotch Create glue stick and just glue the entire front. And I'll show you a quick way. To add some of uh, I guess note to self do this before you add your sparklies again it's fun to learn from people's mistakes <laughs> I'll just shake that out so it's a little more flat okay so I, I've uh, glued the front I'm just gonna glue right down on the top here like this and maybe I will take another one. I will use this here. This is a piece of uh, cardstock scrap. And we need some side things here. So I'm going to do this. here and add a bit right there okay now we got to get rid of the extra the extra this just saves on all the measuring if you don't do it this way which is fine you don't have to but then you got to measure everything so I'm just going to cut along the edge here of the envelope without cutting the envelope Get in there, I gotta glue that better. So I'm gonna do that right now. I can see some of the um, sparklies peeking through there. Okay, that's better. Okay. Cut them along the front carefully. This is the top, so if you do cut even a little bit of your of the part you glued, your shaker pieces will come right out. And 
I've got one on the other side here. And up one more side. And this little part here. And this little piece here. Okay, so there is all this extra. So you see now, you see how it's covered here, but you know what I'm gonna do. You know what's coming next. I know you do. We are gonna do a bit of inking because I do always feel like it just highlights edges just a bit nicer. So I'll get my swooshy tool. And I'll just quickly go around the edges. See how that just sort of highlights? I know, I know. I just can't help myself. This is really crafting on the fly here. Generally, I try to have a few things ready, but oh well, not today. Hopefully you've got nothing better to do. These, these do end up making some pretty fun um, journal embellishments, in my opinion. So, all right, so that's a little bit, a little bit prettier, but we're not done because we need some embellishments. We need some embellishments. So, let's see. Got some words there. Got some, perhaps, some butterfly stuff. Let's see. Hmm. That is kind of cute. Oh, I'm always attracted to the butterfly. Always attracted to the butterfly. I think I'm going to keep it a little bit simple today. And do I want more print on that? Or do I want this part? I think I'm going to just do it this way. Give me a paper tear. Let's do that. Give it a bit of ink. I guess my advice to everybody is just do what makes your heart happy. There is, there are no rules. Like you've heard everybody say, if you're watching YouTube crafters, everybody says there are no rules. And it's true. There are no rules. And I'm even going to take this straight edge <clears throat> off and even though I tend to be a straight edge girl. Because there's no rules. Let's just have some fun. I often just <clears throat> come in my craft room if I don't, if I'm not specifically inspired. Um, it's a bit much, I think. That's a bit too big. So let's take some of this off. And I just sit down and I <clears throat> start to uh, doing things and then suddenly oh I've just done an entire project so okay let's do that let's add some glue hope everybody's having a good day today where we are living here the sun is shining no rain today so after lunch I am definitely getting my dog out for a nice good long walk okay so there's a bit of embellishment in the front there I could either do it this way and leave the top, or I could, you know what? We're gonna go cheesecloth route. Cheesecloth makes life just a little bit lovelier. Give it a bit of a roll and crinkly, wrinkly look. Maybe do I want it in the front here? 
Hmm, not feeling that. I am not feeling that. Oh, that's pretty good. A little ink. I really do like this particular blending inky brush thing because it just it does a little more sh like shading with the ink if you will blends it in a bit better I think I'm going to do this I'm going for it so I'm going to just put a little bit of glue here I will glue the back of this. I like it when fabrics and whatnot peek over the edges of um, these little crafty things, journal embellishments. So how cute is this, you guys? Quick on the fly stuff that I had right in front of me. You noticed that I didn't have anything planned. And this can be, well, I'll use my current journal as another example of what you can do. You can send it in happy mail or you can stick it in. It's not going to match this particular theme of my love journal but you can just stick it in there in a pocket you can clip it and it just becomes a floating shaker just adds a pretty little element to to any journal in my opinion but that's that how fun i have to be honest here's here's the true fact I, this is the first one i've ever made i happen to be just um seeing if i saw pam this morning quickly and i thought i can do this I can do this. I've seen others do really, really elaborate ones and I never bothered to try. But this I could do. If it's quick and simple, I'm in. So I hope this has inspired you to make your own journal shaker. They're simple and fun and you can also decorate the back, which I would do as well. I just didn't want to take any more of your time. So I hope that inspired you and this here too. I hope you make one for yourself if you haven't already. They're fun. They're just quick and simple. It makes you feel like you've accomplished something without starting a really huge project, which I have three on the go. So, But I didn't have time to do anything like that this morning. So anyways, everybody, I hope you liked this video. If you did, I would appreciate a little thumbs up. Um, it's always nice to see people encouraged by things that um, I like to share. And if not, that's fine too. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like me to do and show you on YouTube, you're welcome to send me some suggestions in the description box. But for now, thank you again for following today, for hanging out with me. I wish you all a really wonderful day today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.